Hi folks, um, I wanted to make a couple of really quick videos, trying to make them as quick as possible, <clears throat> about RPE. Um, I used to wear RPE for five years as part of my job as an asbestos consultant, um, and I have had it brought to my attention that some people are wearing RPE, they don't know how to use the RPE they've got, um, and they're doing it wrong, and obviously we now have a lot of healthcare workers uh, using RPE, um, without extensive training and everybody's using what they've got. Um, so I thought I'd do a couple of quick videos to try and help you guys out a little bit. So we're going to cover in this video um, a mask called the Sunstrom SR100. It comes in a box like this um, and it looks like this without its filter. It looks something like that when the filter's on. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, this is the industry standard mask. Um, so a couple of quick points on RPA. Um, you're going to be terrified when you start using RPA. Everybody is. It is scary walking around with RPA on. You're suddenly thinking, oh my God, why am I walking around with RPA? Um, RPA does work. I wouldn't be sitting here if RPA doesn't work. Um, I'm not going to get into viruses and exposure, which is not my field of expertise, but the rule of thumb is RPA works. P3 particulate filters are what are recommended for use with viruses, um, and that's what these masks have. Um, so probably the best advantage, one of the best advantages, is that you'll get a better face fit with these and disposable mask, and also hopefully you will not get any of those nasty rashes that we're seeing people get um, taping disposable masks to their face. Okay, so mask one, Sunstrom. Um, so Sunstrom comes with some straps on it, okay? Basically, the straps, there's these little hooks which are part of the body, they're attached to the body of the mask um, by this loop which goes around the front, thereby having no puncture holes in the mask. So, you have two straps. The one that doesn't have the rubber thing is the one that goes around the back of your neck. The one with the rubber thing grips onto the top of your head round about here to hold your mask in place. Um, so you need to put the filter on, key thing. Um, I, I can laugh, but I was shown how to use RPE properly before I used RPE and uh, obviously to me, you need to put the filter on, but it may not be obvious to you. This is the filter, the filter for um, a SR100 mask is an SR510 P3 particular filter, okay? These come with arrows on them and a little diagram saying point the arrows at your mask when you do that. So we basically take that, we place it into the rubber holding at front of the mask with the arrows facing the mask and we put it in. It's kind of like putting a bicycle tire in. So you just do that, push it in, there you have the filter on. The other thing that comes um, with these masks is this, okay? I want to be very clear, this is a dust filter, okay? I don't even put these on my mask. This on its own will not provide you with filtration against almost anything. Um, this is how the filters come, the filter that I've just come in, it should come like this, it should come sealed, it's not sealed, you don't really know where it's come from. Chances are it's coming out of the asbestos industry. To be honest, I'd rather have a slightly used asbestos filter than no coronavirus filter at all because these, you, these masks are only used for light use in asbestos. But obviously what you want, let's be serious, you want a sealed filter. Um, you also get a cap with these, okay, so these you put on like so, you just clip it on the front of the filter, okay? Comes with a nice reassuring click. Uh, now, the main reason that that filter is there is to help you do a face fit, okay? So what you wanna to do to ensure your mask is working is you take, you put it on, so you put the strap around the back there, whilst not knocking the other mask off the table. You put it on your face, like so, you take this strap around the back of your head, like that. 
and you have this hole here in the mask okay so the way you do your face fit is you suck so if you can see the way that mask collapsed in around my face it has this, don't push it into your face like that because then, so then you're not going to walk around with it pushed into your face. You just put your hand over. I'm getting a slight leap, you can probably see there. You just put your hand over there and you breathe in like that. So that's how you know whether you've got it adjusted correctly on your face. And if it doesn't fit your face, you won't be able to adjust it correctly on your face. So you just put your palm over that hole and breathe in. And the, the idea is that when you do that, you shouldn't be able to breathe. Because all you want all the air to come through the filter. And if all the air is not coming through the filter, then you know that it's coming from somewhere else, in which case your mask is leaking. Okay? So that's how to do it. So obviously, a um, couple of things about this. First thing, you shouldn't have your hair down like, like mine. I'm in my lounge. I'm not in a contaminated environment. You should always cover your hair if you're working with contamination. Um, so you obviously want to decontaminate afterwards. Um, I'll be doing another, putting another video up on that. If you are using the overalls, which um, or your gown or whatever it is you're using is probably coming in some kind of plastic bag. Um, if you don't, if you're not given anything else to cover your hair, first of all, tie it back. Um, but if you are not given anything else to cover your hair, what I used to do is tie all my hair back in a bun and take whatever plastic bag it is your overalls have come from, tie it all back nicely, get it all inside, and make yourself like a head wrap for your hair so hair is a great way to get contaminated because look at it it's just like a big feather duster for contamination um anyway moving on the other mask i want to show you today this in the uk this is called an arco half mask and you might end up with one of these arco is um one of the main manufacturers of ppe in what well, suppliers not manufacturers in the UK, um, and they farm out these little half masks called an Arco half mask. Um, it's basically a sunstrom. It's basically the same mask. If you look at it very closely, you will even see it's got sunstrom written on there. It's got the same filter mechanism. You put the filter on in the same way. You get the cat, and you do it the suck test in the same way. You've got on the inside of both these masks, you've got some exhalation valves there. You've got the inhalation valve, which is behind the filter there, and you've got the exhalation valve there. Uh, key thing I want to say to you about these masks as well is these provide one way protection. What you're breathing out is not being filtered. So if you are aware that you have coronavirus, you should not be using one of these to protect yourself because what you are breathing out is coming out through these side filters okay so side filter side valves with no filter on them okay so these are one way protection they're nice little masks though um it does take a bit of getting used to people in the asbestos industry wear more you know bigger sort of masks that are more awkward people joke it's like having an octopus strapped to your face those guys wear those masks for like long shifts all day, every day. You can get used to this RPE and it does work. Hope that helps.